Google just dropped something brand new and we're going to test it live today. It's called Dynamic Views and it's inside Gemini for free. Here's an example of what it looks like. So it can create these beautiful landing pages and dynamic views. It's great for research and I'll show you exactly how I created it today, plus how you can use it. And here's what makes this different. Instead of getting like a wall of text when you ask Gemini something, it now builds you like a custom mini app right there on the spot, right? So for example, you ask a question and Gemini just codes a little interactive tool with buttons, tabs, scrolling sections, images, videos, etc. You don't need to be able to code. You don't need any tech skills and we're going to test this out together live in real time all right so we'll look at what dynamic views actually is how it's different from the old way of using ai real examples and how this fits into your business right so let's take a look at this here's an example so what i actually typed into gemini here was like give me a guide on traveling to the uk and then it actually planned it out on a map like you can see with a navigational route and also you can see here we can switch between different routes right so for example We've got like a, a budget tool over here, like a budget calculator. We have these three different routes that we could use whilst we're exploring the UK. And it was super simple and easy. Now, if you want to get access to this, what you do is you go to a new chat over here. And then inside this section, inside the tools, you're going to select dynamic view, right? Once you're inside dynamic view, you can say, okay, plan a trip to Japan in February. And what this will actually do is generate using dynamic views, a beautiful little mini app, like you see right here, that quickly plans out your route, plans out your itinerary, et cetera, right? And you can see the whole thinking process here. So if you click this down arrow, you can see the whole process of what it's using, how it's doing it, et cetera, step by step. And so it's actually constructing a full app with all the app features, adding images, planning out, creating the visuals, et cetera, right? And now you can see we've got the Japan app being built, right? And we literally just did that in like two seconds using the AI agent inside Gemini. So it's pretty awesome. It's given us a bunch of ideas. So for example, like snow festivals, snow monkeys, plume blossoms, winter gourmet, etc. And then it's explained, okay, here's what you're going to do. So seven day winter classic, go to Tokyo, go to the Sapporo snow festival, and then go to Kyoto, right? With a visual exploration. Down here, we've got the calendar. So you can actually plan your visit around these different apps. And it's even given us like a packing checklist and weather expectations. Pretty amazing. Now we've got this and that is very special. So we're going to wait for that to load properly, but there's a bunch of cool stuff you can do here. Now let's talk about the old way and the new way. So the old way was like, you ask AI a question, get all the text, copy and paste it, format it yourself, spend 30 minutes making it look good. The new way is like, you can ask Gemini with dynamic views, get an interactive experience built for you automatically, share it or use it the right way, like you can see today, right? So here's the full blown itinerary. You can actually click on start planning over here and it gives you like a visual map of exactly where you can go inside Japan, the best places to go, best places to visit, etc. And then a full calendar. And it's generated all these beautiful images as well inside it with travel and such, right? So it's actually given us a package checklist, as you can see. Now, if we click on the itineraries tab here, we've got the days of what we can do, the festivals we can attend, and the essentials, right? How easy was that? That was super easy. Builds out very quickly. I do like the speed of Gemini as well. And, you know, like the old way would be needing to know how to code to build interactive tools. You know, I know someone on the live stream earlier was saying that it's not that easy to vibe code, but you can see how easy it was to build something like this. And, you know, you can apply this to your business, personal stuff, and just, you know, it's like an automatic AI agent that's almost like a, a personal assistant. And I think like 99% of people are not using this right now. Nobody knows it exists. So, you know, Gemini codes it for you behind the scenes. You just ask it what you want inside plain English. The old way was, for example, like creating separate documents, guides, resources, manually having all these to-do lists. The new you create one prompt that generates an interactive resource. The old way was like static answers that just sit there. The new dynamic responses with taps, images, videos, clickable sections. And the old way was hours of work to make something look professional. The new way is building these professional interactive tools in seconds. All right, let's try something else out now. So I'm going to try this one. We say create an interactive onboarding guide for a new SEO client. It include tabs for this, blah, blah, blah. All right, we'll copy that. We'll go out to Gemini and try this out. And you can see here it's beginning to build. We can see what it's doing step-by-step step in real time here. So, you know, a lot of people were saying before, it's too technical, it's too hard to vibe code. And that's what most people think, right? They see like a someone with an interactive calculator on their website or a cool planning tool or an interactive guide and think like, I could never build that. I don't know how to code. And that belief made sense before, but here's the thing. With dynamic views, Gemini does the coding for you. You don't see it, you don't touch it. You just explain what you want in plain English. So if you say, help me plan a five-day trip to Rome or create a beautiful client onboarding document, right? Instead of getting a list, you get tabs day one, day two, day three with images, with things you can actually explore and click. And you didn't need to code anything. You just asked, like you can see right here, right? This is like a, this is nicer than most websites, to be honest.
It's better than most blocks, right? And the real problem isn't your technical skills. It's that the tools were designed for non-technical people until now with this new update. And here we can begin to see the SEO onboarding hub being built out. Another belief that I see a lot of people struggle with when they're using AI is like, I don't have time to learn another tool. And here's what's interesting about dynamic views. There's literally nothing to learn. You already know how to type a question into Gemini. That's it. That's the skill. The difference is now you just click dynamic view before you ask, and then the output is different. So you have the same input, but you get better outputs. And the real problem is that we assume new equals complicated and sometimes new equals simpler, like you can see today. So it's still developing that out, as you can see. So we've got the Japan one right here. And then let me show you the one that we have, which is the UK trip as well, right? So literally all we said was like plan a trip to UK. You can see the prompt at the top here and you can actually share these as well. So if we click on share public link, you can share, you know, let's say for example, you're sharing this with your family or well, you can copy that link like so, and then people can access it directly. And this is what it looks like once it's embedded on the page, right? It looks beautiful, right? And then you can also continue inside the chat and ask any more questions as well. Do you want to? So now we have the SEO onboarding document created, as you can see, this has got like reporting and metrics. It's got the six month roadmap, right? This is amazing for an agency who's like trying to explain to a client, okay, here's what you're going to do. Here's how it works. Also got the FAQ section here. So people can actually search through the questions, you know, like, okay, traffic, why did it drop? And you can actually ask Gemini for more stuff. So you can implement more stuff right here. What is why SEO? What do you need from me? How do you measure success? Blah, 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 right? Month one expectations. So we tick these off as you can see, as we go through them. And then also we've got the roadmap here. And you can click on these and it'll actually pop up with different stuff. So it creates like this beautiful onboarding document that you could easily share with your team, share with new clients, bring them up to speed, etc. right? Let's create something else now. So now I'm going to say create an interactive data planner for a solopreneur who wants to use AI tools, include morning routines with AI, content creation blocks, and evening reviews. Okay. We'll go back to Gemini now. Plug that in. As far as I'm aware as well, this is free up to certain limits, which is pretty cool too. But yeah, I mean, once you're using this, you know, all your homework for today, I would say is like, go to Gemini, click tools and dynamic view, test one prompt related to your business, screenshot the result, and then post it inside the air profit board room. Cause this stuff is really, really cool. You know, some people say this won't work for my specific business, but dynamic views is very flexible. It's not designed for one type of business. So, you know, you could be trip planning, doing product comparisons, novel writing plans. These are the examples that Google actually gives themselves, but think about what that means. Like planning, comparing, creating step-by-step -step guides. You know, if your business involves like explaining things to customers, this could help. If your business involves comparing options, this could help. If your business involves creating resources, this could help. I mean, the real problem is in that the tool doesn't fit your business is that you haven't asked the right questions yet. And I'll show you a 30 day plan for implementing this stuff. So I call it the Goldie dynamic view system. And this is my framework for testing and using AI features like dynamic views. So, you know, just start off with the discovery phase, test it, try a few business prompts you usually use, create some edge cases, like longer prompts, more complex requests. And then from phase two, days eight to 14, start testing out new content ideas, right? Interactive content for your audience. You could create lead magnets that are more engaging. You could create resources that you normally spend hours on. Even presentations would be awesome with this, right? We can actually generate, for example, like an update of the latest AI news, right? So if you need help with like keeping up to date with the latest AI news, you could say here, okay, create an update of the latest AI news here and that should generate a news report based on that, right? So we've got like this travel plan, the news report, we've got the Japan travel plan, we have the onboarding document, we have the solopreneur AI flow, right? And then you can reset the day, you can go through your tasks for today, right? And it's planned it out day by day and then you can type notes in here, right? So as you work through these tasks, you can plan them out here, right? Pretty much. You can reset the day so you can remove all the tasks if you're starting on a new day. But you see how easy it is to build out these really cool tools and mini apps. You know, other stuff you could do, you could create like a content multiplication system. So you could create an interactive guide showing how to turn one piece of content into like 10 pieces of content using tools. And you could have tools for each content type with the specific steps. But yeah, pretty awesome. So you can see it's actually pulling news up about chat GPT 5.2 and it's pulled that into the magazine right here, right? It's actually got a model leaderboard that's building out industry updates, etc. And you could run this daily, right? So for example, it's also pulling up the news about DeepSeek as well, Google's inference economics, and then Disney investing into OpenAI, right? And it's just build that out. It's so actually got the current dates. It's all like new information, new tools, etc. You can see how easy this is to use. All right. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to all the video notes from today, you can get it inside the AI Success Lab, completely free. Link in the comments description. Inside there, you'll connect with 40,000 AI builders who are interested in AI, just like you. You can post inside the community and everything else. Inside the classroom here, you can get access to all my new tutorials. We actually cover something new every single day, showing you exactly how to use this stuff. And then if 
if you want to get help, support, if you want coaching on this sort of stuff, then join the AI Profit Board. What we actually do is we have the coaching calls four times a week. So you need to jump on coaching calls, ask for any help, support, et cetera, that you need. And inside the community here, you can post questions, get help. You can share your wins. You can learn from other people. Everyone's sharing like what's working for them right now as well, which is awesome. And then we actually do, this is pretty cool. We have a weekly updates here. So I actually condense 80 hours of my research and work into five minutes as an update. And it's just like, if you want to catch up on everything that I've personally tested to know what's good, what's worth your time and what's not, you can get that inside the AI Profit Board Room. Link in the comments description. Also inside the classroom here, you get all my best trainings. So for example, the six week AI masterclass, all my new updates, my personal playbook, right? So you see my personal playbook here for using this stuff, the foundations and how to get started with AI lead generation and social media workflows. And these are all automations. So you can just click and install into your business. And then also templates on, for example, how to use NA10 or how to get AI agents, my agency course, etc. Right. And this is all inside the AI profit border, along with the coaching call recordings, right? So if you want to watch something back, you can watch back the coaching call recordings inside the classroom here too. So thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it as always. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.